Today we're going to show you how to do the installation of a Mitsubishi MHK1 thermostat and the wireless controller on one of the brand new Mitsubishi uh, Mr. Slim's, what is it, it's the inverter with the IECC or ISEE technology thing, the little thing that sweeps back and forth and sees the room. So, because I've been looking on the internet and YouTube and there's, manu there's people that, that have videos but they really don't explain a whole lot. So, you know, you look at the manual, the first thing you read is under the bunta, unta, oh, wrong one. So, you get out your manual here and you look in here and it it doesn't have a whole lot of information in there. It just says hook up wire A to slot B and plug it into the, what is it, the, uh, the CN105. But nobody really shows you on the unit how to take this thing apart, especially the new ones and what the CN105 is. So, today we're going to show you how to get into this thing here one of the brand new ones Ooh, look at that all right because you don't you don't need to take the whole thing apart just the one side so you have one space where here where there's a uh, one place right there there's a screw hidden in there and now let's uh take and pop the pop the front open here a little bit so it's running all right so we have a screw here a screw here and that's it and that one there so you got these three screws that need to come off and also this front plate needs to come out so let me set you up here and we'll see if we can't get it show you how this thing comes apart okay so anyways this thing is currently running and of course you want to turn off the power but there's something you can do before turning the power off so right now we're going to take this cover off which nobody explains to you that all you have to do is lift it up a little bit and then pull it straight out and it comes right off. Remember, this one's still operating. We recommend you turn off the power. So let's take and remove the back cover here where our line sets are. Remember, avoid touching your IEC sensor at all cost. So you got one screw here, and I got one screw here, and this one screw here. So there's those three. Now this whole front side cover piece should come off without too much of a hassle. So you take the top part off and roll it down and out of the way over your sensor because the sensor's sitting here and like I said, don't touch the sensor. So here is all your electrical components and stuff like that. So now it's worthwhile to go ahead and shut off your power if you haven't already done so. So let me turn off this unit. And if you have multiple zone units, make sure you turn off all of the other heads and then go outside and throw the main breaker on it. So we'll let this thing reset. Okay, now we've got the power shut off to this thing. And as you can see, getting to the first screw right there is a little bit tougher with the power off because the vents are closed. Now that the power's off, we can pull off the side cover here and expose the electrical system. Now that you have the panel exposed, you can see the IC board. You can, if you look in your manual, it tells you, you can mount this you know, receiver over here, over here, up above, down below. Don't put it over up above over there or down there. I don't know why. And then over there on the end. Um, but it just says connect it to the five pin CN105 connector on the control board. Well, it doesn't tell you what the CN105 connector is on the control board. The CN105 connector is right there. That's the red one. Take our CN105 pin plug connector thing, connect it into there. Now you have to route it out of here. So looking at the way the new the new board is laid out, there's really no place you can route it. So luckily they add in all these cool little wire holders for us. And we can stick it up in here like this, right it down through here and out this bottom piece here. Because the new boards are, or the new covers are metal and plastic. So you have to be able to route them out and have a place you don't want to hack up this thing so you just route it out the bottom right there. Now for the next hard part. Now we got to figure out how to route the wire out to the receiver. So the easy way to deal with it 
is to just put it right on top of your line set. And route the wire appropriately out of the way. Leave it up where you can get it to your receiver wherever you want to put it. Now we're going to put the cover back on. Take a round file, make a little notch in the in the cover plate to go over the wire. Now we can turn power back on. Now with power to this thing, we're going to push the connect button. So once you put the batteries in, you push the OK button or next, then you tell it connect. And it says wait. Now that it's connected, we're going to go ahead and take it out of connection mode. And I press done to display the home screen. Done. Will it turn on? How do we turn it on? Hey, I like that. It's already turning on. There we go. Working. Where was that one? There's that one. And then the one last cover that goes on this thing. And there's that. So, pretty simple.